And as a global coalition to take down the IS militants begins to form, some lawmakers in the U.S. are speaking out to say that sending in ground troops to Iraq and Syria is inevitable. Republican Senators John McCain and Lindsey Graham said President Obama underestimated IS forces and overestimated Iraqi and Kurdish troops when he announced that American boots would not engage in frontline combat there. Chairman of the House Armed Services Committee Buck McKeon said special forces fighters should be sent in immediately to encircle the militants and to destroy them and to not run the risk of more casualties later. Last week, the CIA raised its estimated size of Islamic State forces to as many as 31,500, triple its earlier estimate of 10,000 fighters.